Alright guys, um, today I've got a quick little video here for you. It is going to be on the Droid Razor HD and uh, I just did a video on how to update this thing to uh, KitKat which you can actually see here um, and basically what I'm going to do in this video is go ahead and show you guys how to put custom recovery on if your device, your Droid Razor HD has that unlocked bootloader. Um, D-Hacker has struck again and and found a way to make clockwork mod recovery for the new KitKat uh, operating system on the Droid Razor HD. So we're gonna go ahead and flash that over to your device. So let me go ahead and shoot through a um, couple, well basically you have one prerequisite basically, or two I guess, beyond KitKat, so follow my update process in the last video I just made on this device. And then um, two, go ahead and have an unlocked bootloader with status code three. And like I said, if you watched that last video, you'll understand what I'm talking about here. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and flash um, Clockwork Mod Recovery to this device. And there's a bunch of important steps to get this done correctly. And then we're gonna get root access on this device by flashing Super Sue in recovery. So all that being said, let me go ahead and hook this thing to my computer. So I got my cable, my trusty dusty cable here. The one I always leave hooked to my computer pretty much at all times. And, um, okay, so USB debugging is turned on. So I got to turn that off because I want this thing to be able to be seen by uh, my computer. Um, so we can push over a Super Sue file to the device. So I'm just going to show you. I actually have it on my computer already. I'll give you a link to Super Sue, but you just got to put it um, on your device. So here's my Droid Razor. Um, here's some files. Where is it at? It's not in that. It must be in my SD card. Downloads, and there it is right there. Super Sue um, V1.94 zip. I'm sure there's a newer zip out there, but this will function for what we're doing. And like I said, I'll give you links to everything you need. And uh, obviously get you back to the uh, XDA form that D-Hacker has posted this recovery system right here, recovery image. All right, so we know where that's at. We know everything's. We got everything here. Um, you are going to have to have a folder already on your computer with um, ADB um, right here, EXE and Fastboot EXE in it. This is just mine. I will link you guys to this uh, a folder that you can or a zip that you can download that you can extract and will have the files you need in in it, like these two. And then you'll have to just copy this paste into that folder, and then you can run all your commands from there. Um, but if you've already unlocked your bootloader and install the custom recovery before this step, you probably already have all these files on your computer already. Um, so I'm not gonna probably worry about it too much. All right, so we need to get into um, bootloader mode. And I'm actually gonna do it with some commands because it's just easier. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna hold shift on your keyboard once you're in this folder. Just click once or twice so you're in the folder. Hold shift on your keyboard and then say open command window here. And I'll just try to go through this the easiest way I can for you. So we want to get into bootloader mode. So we're just going to do um, a, actually, we got to turn USB debugging back on. I'm sorry, before we get too carried away, because we're going to use um, these options to do this. So obviously, you're going to need to have your drivers installed, functioning correctly, um, all that ADB stuff figured out, uh, Motorola drivers, USB debugging turned on, all that stuff. Um, if you don't know how to turn on USB debugging, I'll just go, go ahead. I'll go ahead and do that actually really quick. Um, basically, you come in here to about phone. You tap on the, I'm sorry, the build number about 10 times. It turns on developer options right there. Turn it on, and then you turn on USB debugging. So really not too hard, not too hard at all to do. All right, so we're gonna type in ADB devices. Hit enter. And this is just going to make sure that your device is being seen over ADB. And it should come back with a number and device. That means it is. So we're going to go ahead and do an ADB reboot. So ADB reboot boot loader enter. And that will reboot your device. Mm -hmm. And you'll be in AP fast boot mode, which is bootloader mode. There we go. And then from here, it's really simple to flash this. So we're just going to go ahead and do fast boot and I'll do devices first just to make sure it's functioning 
and again a number and fast boot so that means your device is working your drivers everything's functioning correctly so then we're gonna do fast boot no capitalization sorry fast boot flash recovery and space and then the easiest way to do this is just take this and copy it right in or just drag it and let go of it and then you go ahead and hit enter and everything should be good to go there it goes all right so now this next part is really really important um, we can close this out and we can actually go ahead and unplug our cable um, but what's really important about this is if you let this device reboot right now just by powering it off um, or doing like a fast boot reboot um, you will have issues okay because it will automatically go ahead and restore stock recovery to your device we don't want that alright so what you're gonna do is go ahead and um, power off but get ready to push your volume up and down because that's how you get into bootloader mode again so let me see if I can do this I'm actually gonna push power up and down now and then hold power maybe tap it once or twice and then hold it again there you go let go and then hold it again keep holding volume up and down and that gets you right back into here instantly go down the recovery because if you leave it there it'll go ahead and power normally um, and that's with volume down uh, see I think I waited too long anyway let's just go ahead and see if it if it do, did it or not because you got to highlight recovery and then hit volume up to select recovery and it, then it will go into uh, recovery mode but I know if you don't do it quick enough, yeah, it just does a normal boot. So this process right here, because I just did this, it's going to go ahead and restore stock recovery to my device. And I'll have to flash it all over again, the process I just did. All right, reboot in the bootloader and go through it again. Um, but just so we can uh, all be on the same page, um, I'm going to go ahead and power off. And I'll just skip through that, um, you know, initial step right there but just make sure you're quick on those buttons scroll down once to recovery and right up so we'll just do this one more time really quick here I'm not gonna flash it but I'll just show you how clockwork mod recovery works alright down one volume up and then with this should boot us now into um, clockwork mod recovery and then we'll be able to do our Android backups and all that good stuff so there you go um, obviously, like I said, if you don't get in here and you let the thing reboot, it will replace recovery and you'll be at stock recovery when you try to do this. But if you get to this screen, you've done it right and you're good to go. Um, from here, if you hit reboot, uh, it'll ask you some questions. And one of them is going to be to keep it from replacing stock recovery. I already re answered this question, actually. So that would be a yes question. And this next one says, do you want to um, root the device? You can say no to that because we're going to do it with Super Sue. Um, I wish I actually wouldn't have pushed reboot. Now I'm going to get back into this recovery one more time, really quick here. But just go through and answer the one with yes, and then and then the one with rooting your device no, and then Clockwork Mod Recovery will stay on your device from then on. So that is the easy steps, and that will get it installed. Let me go ahead and show you how to flash Super Sue really quick and show you root access. All right, so I just booted back into um, Clockwork Mod Recovery with the power off, and then volume up and down and holding power getting a bootloader menu and booting into recovery with volume down then volume up all right so we're gonna go ahead and install zip from SD or from yeah it just says install zip actually so hit power so choose zip from SD card one that's what I want and then I'm gonna go to downloads this is where mine's at you just gotta know where your files at there it is super sue go ahead and say yes to flash and it shouldn't take too long here flashing flash the flash flash and it's done so we'll go back reboot system now there we go it just turns off and should reboot so I'm just gonna let this reboot really quick and you should have root access I'll show it to you and that's it guys that's how to get um, clockwork mod recovery and then root access back on your device if it has the unlocked bootloader again big thanks to D hacker for building this image for us um, maybe once we get the kernel source released we'll get uh, twerp recovery back for it also definitely my favorite recovery system but clockwork mod recovery does work perfectly fine to do any flashing you need to do so it is doing a little quick like Android is starting apps Android is upgrading and starting applications 
and there you go we're done we'll go into the app drawer here scroll over scroll over there's super sue and then say no thanks for right now that means it is functioning if we want to double check just to make sure that uh, super sue is working correctly we'll go into es file browser my favorite file browser if you guys haven't known i think i say that almost every time i open the application um, go to tools oh there it is already grant there we go sweet very very nice root explorer yep we'll do mount remount i like to make all this read right so i can do all my editing in there and there it is you have root access custom recovery droid razor hd hope you guys like this video uh, again, hope it was informative for you. Stay tuned for more on this device as development happens. And we'll catch you guys in the next one. Root Junkie out.